Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. I hope y'all are enjoying tonight so far um, with all of the lives and the videos and all of the projects. I hope you're having fun. I hope y'all are having root. I hope y'all are having fun and all that good stuff. So tonight we chose to do a patriotic, um, patriotic project. project. <laughs> And it's going to be a flag, okay? So it's going to be a patriotic project, and it's going to be a flag. Now, we only have the one star on here, which is so fine. I mean, it's so it's so okay just to have the one star. Uh, or if you uh, have a bunch of little stars, you can put a bunch of little stars if you want. But we're doing one, okay? And... We also have this available on our website mm. as a kit, okay? It uh, comes with a backer board. Mm -hmm. It comes with two of the long, tong, long, uh, long tongue yeah. boards, and then the square here. And then it comes with the backer board, too, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and get started painting so we are not too long. Uh, in getting all of our stuff done. So, I'm going to start out with my star is going to be white. Oh, no. Wait. Uh -huh. Wait. Nothing? Oh. Star is going to be white, okay? So, I'm going to start out, and I'm not actually using a lot of white, white. I'm going to use this buttercream like I painted earlier today uh, because I'm going to make it be kind of <clears throat> patriot, I mean, uh, Americana mm -hmm. like I did. So, if y'all will uh, go overhead, Stoney, if you'll go overhead, we'll start painting, okay? Thank you, Cindy Chalky. I'm Thank you. Ready. Open this up a little bit. Now they're going to start freaking texting. Oh. Turn this off. Y'all. Our power went out a while ago. Sherry says she loves the chunky wood design. I love it too. I think it's so cute. Now I also have a gnome that we will be doing soon and painting it's you know it's time to start the patriotic stuff y'all it's just time to start it and uh so and stoney is starting on his blocks as you can see he's going to start on his blocks but i want to go ahead and do my white before i put any other colors on my brush hey what's the difference between patriotic and americana Americana is a little bit more duller colors it's or muted colors. Muted, yeah. More muted. More country. It's kind of rustic patriotic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, patriotic's red, white, blue. Yeah, it's just not Even. bright colors. It's just not the bright, bright colors. Yes, patriotic can go all year. I love, love, love uh, 4th of July because to me, I said it today when I was painting. Uh, if you weren't on my live earlier on Wilds Creek when I was painting, I think personally that we should always, always be patriotic. What's the measurement? Oh, I don't know what the measurements are. It's on the website. I know I measure it, but I don't remember. It's a good shelf you sitter. You got thing right in front of you. I do. The mat. Oh, yeah. I love these. They're so, I always like this, this bulky stuff. Yeah, mine's going to be rustic. I don't know if yours is or not. Uh, mine's going to be Americana, kind of. Mine's, mine's just going to be pure old rustic. 
So, so with Americana, you can add in your burlaps. You know another way you can uh, antique the shell? You know, like men's shoe polish, the wax shoe Oh, polish. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when you, and that also seals the wax in it, too. And yeah, I have some wax back there. Get oh, Edward. Edward shoe polish. I think it was Edward's what? Shoe polish is hard to find anymore. Yeah, you got, they don't, well, yeah, it is. Walmart does carry it. Joanne look. says it's six and a half by eight and three quarters. That is correct. Hey, Connie James. Okay, I got that did. You don't have to paint the bottom. I know you don't have to. You don't have to paint the bottom. So that's all we're doing is we're going to paint this. I know, and Connie. What? Teeny's making her yawn. Teeny's making her yawn. I have been yawning all day and I've slept most of the day, so I don't know why. I'm not tired. Mm. Going home to get the paint and stuff. And Teeny was in the bed. She was? Yeah, I laid on the bed. I got dressed and mm. put makeup on. And I was just sitting on the bed. Made the bed and sitting on it, watching something on it. I think it was, I don't even remember what it was, but I ordered this. I rolled over and sat there so I could just sit and watch it, and I fell asleep. What was the top one? Top one is supposed to be red, but it doesn't matter. You can do it how you want to. Mm -hmm. the, the flag, the actual American flag starts with the red stripe and ends with the red stripe. But you won't be able to do that with this because this one is um, even, uh, even number. Even uh, number. Shoot. Sorry, guys. I think, what is it, 13 stripes and 13, I mean, 13 uh, red stripes. Um, 13 stripes, I don't know. There's 13 stripes on the flag. I haven't counted them lately. It's 13, because you know why? There's 13, 13 colonies. colonies. And then the stars. There's 50 stars, because there's 50 states. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fifty stars for fifty states. So thirteen stripes, fifty stars. Tracy got it going on. And y'all, if you order from us, hey Cass, I keep calling her Cassie, but it's Casey. It's Casey. Casey. Mm -hmm. I know. I always say Cassie. If you order she, something from us, we usually, if we have them, send you a little, little soldier in your box. And it's just a little, just a little toy soldier for you to put on the shelf and call the prayer soldier. Is that what it's called? Uh. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Don't be tripping stuff on my... I'm painting, y'all. He's dripping he across on... that red line. <laughs> He's dripping on my stuff. He's dripping on me. Oh, I already got paper. Connie says she has she has her collection of soldiers. Hey, Connie McCormick. Y'all, this is a really easy project. It's very easy. So, very simple, very straightforward. Um, as far as painting, now we're going to do a little... 
extra something extra. Yeah, we're gonna do a little process. A little something something on here. So just get ready. Get ready, Freddie. Katie just went on. Katie was just on. Katie was just on. Yeah, how many of y'all watched Katie? Yeah, who was on with Katie? I was. I think. I think my ears are bleeding. <laughs> I hadn't shared this on Wilds Creek. I'm gonna have to let this dry just a little. And you know, you don't really have to paint the in, uh, all three sides of this either, because except on the top and on the bottom, because. Um, yeah. I think you should paint them. You don't have to do the bottom. But I would paint the rest of it because some of it shows on the outside. Katie made a cross. Yeah. I took the dogs home during that and y'all, I missed some of it. It was pretty. It turned out pretty. Well, Georgie? Oh, yeah, Georgia. Nope, that's, no, that's Georgia. Georgia just got here. She missed Katie. Okay, now I'm down to red. Oh, they said they watched Katie and she was using her church voice. Uh-uh. Not on my end. Not on my end. Y'all, <laughs> y'all know we love Katie. You need to check your body. <laughs> we love Katie. Y'all know that. We like to... Actually, Stoney loves to give Katie a hard time. Yes, he does. Because he knows he do, he can do it. He loves to give her a hard time. So. Spread the love there, Laura. Yeah, y'all y'all share and, and spread that love out there. Uh, and I know Katie told y'all about it, but I'm going to tell you about it too. Uh, that we have our our new uh, subscription button. So if anybody would like to join in the subscription club, it is $4.99 a month. And you're going to get all kinds of little extra stuff and be in a group. Oh, that's funny. Jerry said, what church y'all go to? The Church of the Deaf? <laughs> yeah, it's $4.99 a month. <laughs> and you're going to get a little extra stuff. And we're going to play bingo in that group other days besides Wednesday. Uh, so you'll be, I mean, we'll be doing prizes. And what else? All kinds of things. So if you want to subscribe... It's going to be worth the four ninety nine. I can assure you. I can assure you. Um, it's going to help us out. And we're going to put... Uh, oh, Janice says she has her ear pods in. Carla says, stop picking on Katie. Y'all, it's all for fun. Uh, Stoney, Stoney likes to give Katie a hard time. And she gives him a hard time. Picks back, you know. She picks back, so it's all for fun. You okay over there? Hey, LaDonna. I got the... Oh, thanks, Pam. Thanks. Dropping stuff like tea in your So, I am using the, um, what do you call it? Uh, Dixie Bell paint today. I used it earlier on another uh, door hanger that I painted. Teeny, can you hand me that door hanger behind you? Mm -hmm. 
I'm using Dixie Belle paint, Karen. That's what I'm using right now. And this color is called Bunker Hill Blue. How appropriate, Bunker Hill Blue. And uh, it's so pretty. And I'll show y'all, I did this door hanger earlier today. It hasn't been sealed. The door hanger hasn't been sealed yet, but I did this door hanger earlier and I am so proud of this. It turned out so pretty. It turned out so pretty and uh, I love this door hanger. Absolutely love it. You did it on Wilds Creek page. I did this one on Wilds Creek page. Yes. You can go watch the replay if you would like. What do I seal it with? I will seal it with uh, Rust-Oleum uh, Clear acrylic, uh, acr clear Spray. I don't have that can in here or I'd show you. But we seal it with Rust-Oleum Clear uh, Spray. And you can get matte, you can get uh, satin, and you can get uh, gloss. So it's if you want a big shine on it, which most of the time on a door hanger, you put a shine on it. Uh, you know, you don't have to since that one is more uh, what I call Americana. Uh, you don't have to have a glossy shine to it. It can be um, a matte, more of a matte finish if you want. It'd be pretty anyway. Yeah, it'll be pretty any way you do it. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Well, you can get it in semi-gloss so it don't have to shine quite as shiny as gloss. This is my last piece of paint. Well, this was mine too, but I'm going to let the side of it uh, sit for just a minute and turn it over and do the other blue. I love this blue. It is so pretty. Such a beautiful color. Okay. Has anyone ever wondered how they come up with red, white, and blue for our colors? How, how, I wonder how they came up with the red, white, and blue. Well, the red is for the blood that For the shed. blood that was shed. I knew that. White is for the... Purity. Purity. And blue is for the... I don't know. Let's see. How did... And you don't, you don't have to paint this part. Probably the only colors they had back then. You don't have to paint this part. Sheila says she's just fine at home from work. Oh, good. Okay, so chalk paint dries pretty fast. It does, yeah. Okay. okay. This one's, this piece is dry. It's kind of, not quite. Oh, wait, there it was. The red symbolizes purity. hardiness. And valor, white symbolizes purity and innocence, and blue represents vigilance. Vigilance. Trina says she's only in Katie's group so far. Okay. So to dry these. I got a sanding block and I'm just gonna You like Dixie Bell? I am distressing it. Dixie Bell don't want it to come off. Yeah.
Where do you buy Dixie Belle? Well, I bought mine from uh, someone at Crafters Convention, but now Mary's son, who owns a paint store, sells it. And so I'm going to talk to him and see what I can't work out. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't. Uh, she said something about it today, but we really didn't get to talk about anything. So um, we'll just have to see. Maybe I'll have some. I don't know. I talked to them about carrying Dixie Bell, but they wanted me to uh, invest so much money in it that to me it wasn't worth it because I was going to have to buy, like, I don't know, I think it was around $3,000 worth of of uh, paint and I just don't have that kind of money to just sit around and wait for it to sell you know that's the thing with owning a store is you know you don't uh, always you buy stuff but your money's tied up in that until somebody comes in here and buys it you know and uh, so Coming off. Little. So I, I'm distressing mine a little bit too, okay? So what I was saying is it's just hard to turn loose of that kind of money to sit on a shelf. You know what I mean? So I just I just couldn't see investing that much in paint uh, there are several people you can get on Dixie Bell's uh, website and it'll tell you who carries it you can put your town in and it'll tell you who carries it and maybe I can work out something with her son and carry some here you know we'll see Because I don't think he really is going to carry it much anymore. I'm not going to distress mine just a ton. My red is not dry yet. My blue is not dry yet. can purchase the kit it's on our website um hang on and i'll see if i can get it and pin it i think that does oh becky did i thought she did i don't see it now <laughs> hang on and i'll get it Well, this is fine. Oh, Amazon sells it. You know, I'm all for buying on Amazon, but I'm also all for so, uh, supporting a small business. So, if I know a small business that's selling it, 
I will buy it from that small business before I will Amazon. I mean, I'm all for uh, yeah, I'm all for supporting a small business over Amazon personally. It's those, it's that kind of a business, and uh, just like um, big box stores that came in and hurt small business. And yep, Walmart cut all the mom and pop shops. Out. Yep, oh, they did. They sure did. So I, I'm just. That was the mission. The what? Yeah. I'm all for. You know, if you can't find it, then support Amazon or whatever. But I just, I don't know. I just, myself, would much rather support a small business. And I know it's because I own a small business as well. And I just think that, you know, we need to get back to our roots. Our country yeah. needs to get back Resting to... Resting on Sunday. Yeah, our country needs to get back to its original roots and, uh, you know. Family dinner at the table every night. We, we, we use our recliner. We have dinner in the recliner. Okay, so y'all, I have just men wax stain. And the stain will seal the paint. But I will go ahead and put a sealer on top of the stain. And I always wear gloves because you know I got beautiful hands. Yes, hands. So I'm hands up. Don't you hands up, boy. So this is a providential stain. And I'm just going to dip. Can I have the Swiffer? Here it is. Never mind. I'm going to just dip this rag in and get a little on there. And you really only need to do the tops. Okay. And I'm going to be doing the same thing, except Michelle's going to be using wax. Okay. I'm using something called Brie Wax. And it is, um, it's a, a stain, a wax, and it polishes. Okay. So, um. This one, I have had this can for probably four years. I kept it in the refrigerator out in the shop so it wouldn't dry. And um, I've used this forever. I love this wax. The wax seals your product as well as the stain, okay? So I'll show you. Let's do the blue. So that's what I'm using, is this wax, okay? Just to kind of finish it. Kind of give it a, it protects it. You will not have to seal it or anything after using this on it. And I don't have to use gloves with this wax. I would recommend it, but I don't use them most of the time. But I would recommend it, okay? But it does seal them, and it does a good job. I wear gloves on stain because it... Stain you, will get on your hands. If you don't, you just... Yeah, it has to wear off. I wear them when I stain. Okay, so but this is waxing. This it's different. It. See, it's not on my hands. Okay, so I'm just getting some on my rag. I'm just going to rub it on here. I'm going to rub it on the top, the sides, and the ends. Kind of finish it off. And this protects it so it doesn't, you don't have to do anything else to it. It gets down in the little cracks 
gives it a little uh, texture, a little color in those cracks. Brie wax, BR. BRI. BRI. Wax. And it comes in two or three different colors. This one is the light brown. This one is called light brown. And I believe Dixie Bell makes a wax too. I just have never, I've never used it and I've never had it. So, and I've had this. Tub. We used to do a lot of waxing on some of our signs, and uh, so Stoney went and got me this can of wax one day, and I've been using it ever since because it doesn't take much, y'all. Smells like shoe polish. It does. It it's kind of the texture of shoe polish. Staying away. Hey, Gary. I wish I knew how many cans of stain I've used. We buy, actually, about we, five gallons. When we were doing a lot of our rustic wood signs, we were buying it about five gallons. How the hell does it just stick paper together, but it sticks my fingers together? Lord help Jesus. That's freaky. What's our time look like? Oh, we're doing good. I just do all the pieces. You can see the difference in these two pieces. I'll show you in just a second. Let me get the, oh, I got a lot on that one. That's okay. Michelle, will you put that switch on that hot glue uh, thing, please? Turn it on and off. On. I think I turned it off when I was done. It's on. This glue was not on the paper. Okay, so you can see, I don't know if you can see the difference, but see the difference? I'm going to show you uh, the difference in the wood with me waxing that and not waxed. So, and you let that dry good. It takes this wax a little while to dry. So be careful when you're picking it up and touching it because it does take it a little while to dry, okay? Wax on, wax off. Okay, so I've got my staining done. Gonna let it sit there a minute and dry. Maybe. Did you do your star? Mm hmm. Just checking. Did my star. Okay. Alright, so see, I don't really have any on my hands, okay? I don't either. I got paint. Well, I got paint, but. I'm saying I don't have a lot of, you know, the stain on my hands because Okay, so next we're going to take uh, this board Okay, and we're going to put our flag right here. 
That way I'll know where to, um, yeah, that's what I need. Now we're gonna glue these, but uh, once everything's good and dry, I will probably take these home, flip them over on a towel, and shoot some brad nails in the back just just to make sure. But I, I think the glue is probably plenty, but just to reinforce it a bit. Oh, Gary, listen, I tell you what, I there is a way that you can do those to make them stand up. And if you'll call Stoney one day, I'll try to explain it to you. My, our next door neighbor, who is the florist. Hey, Katie. Uh, our next door neighbor that is the florist. Uh, they have this system in the back of their van. And in that van, I probably put way too much. That's a lot. It's about a dollar worth. Well, in that van, they have this locking system that's got holes in it, and they put PVC pipe. So if you can figure out something, I think this is going to have to be. Snap a picture of it. And send it to me. Yeah. We could get a picture of it and send it to you. Because I, it's so cool. I, I commented on it one day. I said, oh, that is so cool. Some kind of snapping system, and it, it's just really cool. Okay, your uh, stripes. <clears throat> it's meant to have a space in between them, so if you line them up with the top and the side, and then you line your next the next one up. The blue here, you're going to have a space in between. And then this one, and then your red on bottom. And, you just and I did mine opposite him. I did mine red on top, white, red, white. But I like it better the other way. Hey, Georgie. George, Georgie, putting in time. But the flag actually starts with a red stripe and ends with a red stripe. Because I checked it out. But when you're doing these projects, sometimes it don't work out that way. So we're gluing them down right now, but like Stoney said, he'll take them home and he'll uh, put a nail brad in them. He'll nail brad it so they don't come loose. If you are going to do one of these, I would highly suggest getting some little nails and putting some little nails in the back of it to hold it if it was me. which I wish we had some little nails here to do that and show you. It's just something that's a little different a little, and it's a fun, easy project. Children can do this project as well as adults. 
And you know what I like about these kind of projects is like what I was asking you. Do you know why our flags red, white, and blue? What the red, white, and blue stands for? Uh, it's a good educational program. I mean, a good educational uh, craft. So uh, if you're going to do it with your child, you can ask them questions and teach them. If because you know we know they don't teach all this stuff in school anymore. No, they still don't teach American history. Like so uh, you know, so it's up to us as parents to uh, teach our children and all that good stuff. So why not when you're doing it have a little education to go along with it no education didn't hurt anybody a little education don't hurt nobody kind of hurt me so <laughs> kind of hurt me well look who we're talking about uh, leave, the, leave the hot glue gun on when we get through there So anyway, it's a, it's a lot of fun. These are a little bit of fun. And uh, if you don't know all the answers to, like I don't know all the answers. I loved American history. It was one of my favorite subjects. I loved history, period. And I, I did not like social studies, but I loved history. And um, so anyway, if you don't know it, you know, Google can be your next best friend and answer questions. And most of the time, Google's going to be right. There are some things that they're not right about, but most of the time, it's going to be right. And uh, it is patriotic night, Miss Mary. It is. Exactly, Carol. Exactly. So, these are super easy, super cute, and super educational if you um, approach it right. Now, what we're going to do, Stoney's going to take and put a, a bow around his. I want to put a bow around mine too, but I want mine to get good and dry before I move it. You know? I want it to be good and dry because I don't want it moving. And also, since we're from Texas, this is actually just like the Texas flag right here. Well, no, it would be white up here and blue down here. And, uh, I mean, white up here and red down here, I'm sorry. And this is blue, the Texas flag. So these two would be white, these two would be red, and this is blue with the white star. So that's actually the Texas flag flag so you can do it any way uh, that you choose to do it hey Lila so tonight uh, next is going to be uh, Rachel with Lovey's Flowers she is I have no idea what she's doing tonight um, going to be a surprise for y'all I have no idea, so y'all just all get ready, and also, we are going to be doing, um, uh, after Rachel is Jace, he's going to be last tonight, so, hey, girl. Uh, what was I going to say, yeah, Jace is going to be last tonight, and, shoot, what was I going to say? <laughs> Don't ask me, you know how my mind works. Uh, Katie went, Teeny went, Teeny got knocked off during, the, we lost our power and she got knocked off, uh, but she did get her project finished and it is gorgeous. Um, we, uh, la la, had the subscribe button. I'm, try, I'm trying to think of all the things. We do have the subscribe button. It. Is this flag a kit you have for sale? Yes, and it's pinned at the bottom of this page. Right, Carla? I'm bad about it, girl. I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad. So, uh, can I have that ribbon down there, babe? Y'all, we had this ribbon in the back, so we just decided that we would use this ribbon and not open another one. 
Um, so, anyway, but yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of things in the works, mm -hmm. and I, I just can't say what they are yet, y'all. But y'all just keep keep coming, keep watching, and keep supporting us because we are going to have some fun. It is, Renee. It's so simple, but yet yeah, it's so pretty. And uh, most of y'all know how I feel about being patriotic. I feel like we should all be patriotic. And no matter what our affiliation is or how we feel, I just feel like everybody should be proud of where they come from and what we stand for and and uh, be the best citizens that one could possibly be. That's just how I feel. I uh, That's my happy place when I start talking about being patriotic. It, it's one of my happy places, and I don't know why, because I was not in the military. I did not have any family in the military, but y'all, it's just one of my one of my things. I've always just been very prideful in that I feel very fortunate to be a citizen here in the United States. Uh, I don't always agree with what's going on in our world, as most people don't. But it's still ours. But it's still ours. And we still need to take care of it. Take care of it. So. And we do things to make it a little bit prettier. Yeah. Be prideful. That's the thing. You know, that's the thing. Uh, people don't know how to take pride anymore. Water is coming in your basement. Oh my gosh. Caroline. Caroline, you better get on your knees and pray to God. You better get on your knees, girl. Yeah. You better get to praying. Y'all better pray for Caroline. That's a hard Water's coming in her basement, and it's only done it twice. She said only twice in 45 years that her. And y'all, I sit here and tied this bow, and I know it's only two loops, but I sit here and tied this bow with by hand. Jace should be very proud of his student. Jacers, are you proud? Are you proud? I don't know, Carol, because, you know, we don't have basements here in Texas. Most places don't have basements. Yeah, there's a few, but not very many. They got, they got, I've seen some movies where they have this. When tornadoes come, they have these things that go down in the backyard, get in. They're not very big, but they go down in the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got those around here. And they're, uh, they're starting And to you can take and put put this around it. I just messed mine up. They're starting to build safe rooms mm -hmm. in houses now. Mm -hmm. For tornadoes. Yeah, it's a metal. They room. build like a safe. Yeah. And uh, so you can take this and run this around it to give it some colors. Well, there's sh uh, shorty. Right. Okay. So you can put a uh, ribbon around it to give it some color if you want. Like this. Except I got mine all messed up. Or you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. And you can stand it up. We'll stand it up when 
uh, we go forward. I moved mine when I put that stuff on it. And you can just put a bow on it if you want to put a bow on it. That bow's a little bit big, but uh, you can. Yeah, it's not quite dry yet. Takes it a few minutes to dry. Did you glue your bow on? Mm -hmm. Is it dry? Almost. Hubby's working on it now. Well, at least he's at home. I'm glad he's at home because usually when something like that happens with me, Stoney's not around. Or it used to be that way. Not so much anymore because he's retired. So use the heat gun. I don't know if the heat gun will dry glue or not. Mine's dry enough to sit up. But you can put ribbon around it so you don't have that raw edge. You know? You can put that ribbon on there so you don't have that raw edge. Actually, Andrea, we used the uh, quick quick set glue we use that quick set glue and oh, um stick fast. stick fast and it sets up really fast now what we're going to do is when uh, these dry we'll take them home and stony will turn them over and he will uh, put some nail brads in it to hold it uh, but we're just kind of showing you and then you can also use like little nails You know, you could put some small nails in there with your hands and I do not sell the glue. I get it on Amazon uh, I don't know anybody that sells that glue except a jewelry uh, person on Amazon it's a jewelry person, I think. It comes from like a jewel, jeweler. And um, one of the groups I belong in, that I belong to, they're the ones that told me about it. And we've been using it, and we really like it. That one's kind of crooked. It's a little crooked. It's a little crooked. So... Let's see if I can get mine. Did you glue that on there? I hot glue it. Yeah. Yeah. I have some two and a half inch, but I'm afraid it'd be too wide, aren't you? You think it'd be too wide? Yeah, I looked at it. I tried it, but it's, I mean, it, it hangs over front and back. But if you cut the back wire off? It's and a half. Well, you could cut the back wire if you wanted. I can go forward with mine, I think. Okay, I'm going to go forward. Stay. I think everything will stay. Yeah, so that's... That's the little flag. Little flag kit. So simple. And you can set it up on a shelf. And there you go. But so cute. I love them. I just think they're so cute and uh, so easy to do. That's the main thing, is that they're really easy to do. Yeah, this would be a really good project to do with a child. So, them things go flying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what else you got, Stoney? You got anything to say? Or? Uh, well, no, not really, but... Uh, Thank y'all. Uh, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, be sure and go like all the coaches' pages. Um, we have a texting number that's set up. Uh, each one of the coaches, or some of the coaches, have their own numbers. Um, not me. But our number... Is posted at the in the description up there, 
Katie has her own number. Jace has his own number. Uh, but this, sometimes they stay post for us. Yeah, so if, if you remember it, <laughs> if uh, if you want to join the coaching corners text, then just put our number in and send us the word coach. Our, our number is the number up top. It's 903-412-1741. Yeah, and then just, just type in the word coach. That puts you in a category um, where you won't get text when Wilds Creek goes live, but you'll get a text when we go live on the Coaching Corner page. This bow is just a little bit big. I made so, it a little bit big. Um, I didn't put any tails on my bow because... I didn't want it to hang down. It's a little big. And if you want to sign up for ours, just just say hi. Text the same number, just say hi or whatever. You don't have to say anything. You can put a, a dot or anything and that'll sign you up. So we text. And if you wanted to, also with these, uh, is one of my boards falling out? No. Something is. Something, something's not right. Sherry says Fourth of July is her favorite holiday. I love the Fourth of July. Mine too. But look, if you wanted to, you could take this, and not only could you put the flower, I mean the bow in here, stick some greenery in it. Mm -hmm. You could stick some greenery in here, and let's see if I have a piece of greenery real quick. It's we got ten minutes. Here's this one. This maybe no. Um, this, no. Stony, look in that basket back there. Look in that, just that little basket back there. Because we could put, um, that's sliding, that's what it is. I knew I could feel something moving on there. I could feel something moving. I don't want my boards to move. But I think it would be cute to put some greenery in the top of it as well. And uh, just make like a little arrangement on top of it would be cute too. Not anything uh, huge because you want it to stand up. But you could put some... This isn't a very good choice. No. It's not. Not a very good choice. It's got yellow in it, y'all. Yeah, and um, the supporter, the supporter group, you get a little badge by your name, you get uh, entered into a little private group where we're going to do some things to do some things in um, we're going to do some, some uh, a little bit higher stakes bingo in there so you could win prizes that are a little a little nicer than uh the regular bingo you know what? Yeah. I don't have any like foam or anything put on top here, so I'm not going to be able to do that just right. Yeah, you need a little stick. I need something to stick it in. So I'm going to finish this up tomorrow with making a little arrangement on the top where it'll sit. And I will post a picture of it once I get it all complete. But I don't want to... Uh, these keep sliding until that glue dries, it slides. Now, if I had some little nails, I would get my hammer and nail, and I, I could even nail these with the little nail, but I don't think that, uh, uh, I don't, I don't think, that's cute. I don't think that I, uh, uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna say. I'm sorry, y'all. 
Sure. I'm having a hard time tonight. Sherry sure, lives in Texas. 35 years, never heard about the crafting community. Moved to Virginia and Texas is where all the crafting events are. And she never even went to Canton. Well, you just. Oh my gosh. You might as well just move back. You Come on back, girl. Come on back. But I'll finish this tomorrow and, and make it beautiful and post a picture of it so y'all can see what you can do to these, even as a simple, simple craft. Um, yeah. I have this one beautiful bush that's got red, white, and blue in it. It's beautiful, y'all. This is a beautiful bush. Yeah, it's expensive. It's expensive, but it's beautiful. So I didn't 40. even I didn't even buy these to sell. No. Because they were like six they were like, I don't know, fifty something dollars retail. Yes. Can you believe that? Shout out to them, Michelle. It was forty six bucks, I think. Forty six, yeah. Retail. Yeah. Funny. I can't believe uh, you know, so it it was expensive. It's crazy. It's crazy. It was expensive. It is well, you know, from it's expensive now. If it was expensive then, it's designer excellence. So it's from I can't remember the name of the place now. My 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 brain's not even thinking. It's designer excellence. Yeah. It's in the market. I know, I know, but I can't think of the name. It's not Raz, but it's an expensive place like Raz. Hmm. So um, I can't think of the name of it. I'm telling y'all, I'm having a hard time today. I'm tired. I'm very tired. And I'm having a hard time. My brain is not thinking. So, I don't know why I'm tired, but I am. So Okay, well, we got five minutes. Um, oh, yeah, that'd be cute too, Carla. Yeah, so much. How much, how much oh, is hello. the flag? No, it's not Craig Bachman. Uh, the flag kit the is, I think the flag kit's $20. Um, she just made something, you know. The flag kit's $20. And, and uh, hang it on your towels. Yeah, it's got a little that comes, That's the wood and the stars and everything to make it, okay? Hang it where? So. You can hang it in, like if you have towels, guest, not guest towels, but you know, decorative towels in your bathroom. Yeah. You can hang it. Of it's, little, uh, it's just little crates. Toilet paper rolls. Yeah, she did that with a toilet paper roll, y'all. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to do it on the live. So. Yeah. Okay. So. It's hot in here. Thank you, Lila. Thank you for the... Oh, if you're talking to me. I don't know who you're talking to. Cute crafts tonight. Thanks, Laura. Yeah. So, thank y'all for being with us. If you haven't liked and followed our YouTube play page, please go do that. And also, uh, follow all of the crafters on this Crafting Coaches Corner page. That would be... Katie with Crazy Mazy Creations LLC, Teeny with Coastal Style, etc., Rachel with Lovey's Flowers, Jace with a touch of decor, and Stoney and Michelle with Wilds Creek and Company. And then if you haven't followed the uh coaching crafters coaching the crafting coaches corner page, please go like and follow it. Um Y'all, we are making strides with this page. We are. And yesterday, or su was it Sunday, or yet Sunday, when someone, and I'm not calling the name, someone said that our page made a difference in their life. That touched each and every one of us, and it gives you chill bumps to even think that's something that we're doing that we don't think, you know, is, it's important to us. Yes, it's important. But you don't realize how you touch somebody else's life when you're coming live and you're just doing your thing and you're just crafting and you're having fun. Uh, we have no idea how many people we touch. So remember... We are always here 
if you're in, if you're having a difficult time, if you need a shoulder or uh, if you have a good idea and you don't want to do it or you uh, just want to talk, there is five of us here. Don't call Stoney. He won't talk. He don't know what to tell you. Don't call Stoney. He won't. He talks. He will talk if I'm not around. But y'all. If you need us, y'all know where to find us. That's what we're trying to do is trying to make a difference in this community. Don't ever feel alone. We're right here. Yes. Don't ever feel alone. Uh, yes. Well, y'all all mean a lot to us. Honestly, y'all all mean a lot. We can't tell you how much you mean to us. Uh, we look forward to we look forward to going live and doing our thing. I'm looking at the time because I don't want to go over. Uh, but we look forward to coming live and making something. We talk. Like, I was on the phone with Jace when Teeny was live. And he said, what am I going to make tonight? What am I going to make tonight? So we try to help each other out. And we just want to show y'all that as business owners, Tracy's, you Tracy can... Yes, it was Tracy. Yes, she said it. You, we just want y'all to know that as business owners, we can all work together. There doesn't have to be a community competition to see who's going to get the richest or who's going to make the most money. Because mo be me. listen, <laughs> I want to tell y'all, money is not everything. Don't make you happy. Money is not everything. Uh, sure, it helps, but it's not the end all and be all of life. And if you are focused on making that be your purpose, then you need to reevaluate because in the crafting business, you're not going to get rich. You're not going to get rich. So don't let people tell you you're going to get rich. You're not going to get rich. There's only one demon. Okay. And, well, I'm not calling names, Teeny. Don't call names. Well, I'm just so saying. He, just, he has got rich from it because he's put a lot of Well, we're not calling names on here. So, uh, anyway, just know that we're always here. We want to help build a, a better community uh, and everybody be unified because unity is in the community so and that's all i have to say except that i love each and every one of y'all thank you for taking your time and being with us um it, we can't tell you how much it means to us we just can't i mean uh it makes our hearts swell when y'all say oh i love your design or i I love coming to your page or it just makes our hearts swell with pride. And it's not, a, I say with pride, not our heads, our hearts. We want our hearts to grow. So thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I love each and every one of you. Okay, so let's go watch Rachel. Okay, let's go see what Rachel's going to do tonight, y'all. Lovey's flower. She's next. Good so here we go, Rachel. Good life. Here we go. Thank y'all for being with us. We love y'all. See you next time.